This is a comeback like international sport may have never seen before. You've got to imagine the pressure that is being applied on board Emirates Team New Zealand. This is really devastating. I can tell you that I've never been more proud to be part of this team and I've never felt more Kiwi than I feel today. because everything else you can fix. No, we've got a great short team and this kind of stuff, um, you know, pulls us back together and no, we've got, got a really resilient bunch there that will be back fighting. Kiwis back in front. Team New Zealand has sailed their best race in the entire event. That's as close to a perfect race as you can sail. And the official challenger for the first Everybody going out of their skin. See, we get to the end, but that's where we begin. You feel it? Mannequins and we breaking the mold. Breaking out and we breaking the codes. Similar to the Jack who stole to the depths in your web. So you take explosives to get it out. Send your body to flight. Jimmy Spitbill has lost his magic wand, and in the meantime, the Kiwis innovative in their design, intense in their focus, resilient throughout the time here in Bermuda. The New Zealanders peddling into the history books. Everybody going out of the skins. The America's Cup wrestling from the USA by Burling's Manning. The trophy belongs to New Zealand. We now present the America's Cup to Emirates Team. Token pain of San Francisco, replaced by jubilation here in Bermuda. They've uh, been, been hugely successful, and that guy Matteo, he is uh, he's one of the key parts of Emirates Team New Zealand, their organization, their fundraising, how they put this whole team together. And, and next to me is uh, a man that. Um, Really has been instrumental, ultimately, along with um, others, but but certainly the guy that stuck with the team through thick and thin and believed in me. And uh, you know, the, the in New Zealand owes a, a, a lifetime gratitude to to Matteo Donora. So thank you, Matteo.